At the Edge Tie-Dye in Center Harbor, there's sunshine even on the cloudy days. On a day where it's gray and rainy, makes you feel better. Color your world. It's like, it's like a sun. Husband and wife team Jill Weed and Bill Ricciardi say that you can tie-dye just about anything. Yeah. Skirts. Which? Socks, uh, onesies, ladies jackets, ladies pants, yoga wear, tank tops, men's t-shirts. On our website we probably have about 60 different clothing options. At least. At least. Um, 90 different color patterns. Jill has been in the business since the 90s, and every day for her, it is rinse, dye, wash, repeat. I will probably make, on an average day, um, I can make about 400 pieces of tie-dye per day. Jill stumbled into the craft. She wasn't a hippie or a deadhead, just an artist who accidentally tapped into tie-dye. I was making sterling silver wrapped jewelry, as was, you know, so many other people. And I was lining my jewelry cases with tie-dye fabric. And people became very interested in the tie-dye. She switched gears and headed over the rainbow and has never looked back color, fun. Um, I think it makes people feel happy. And you see tie-dye on like, you know, the runway. Big designers are using dyed fabrics and sophisticated. It's not all rainbow, swirl, grateful, dead tie-dye. Bill used to be in the music business before he met Jill and started wearing swirls. I was an old wannabe hippie, you know. Um, I don't think I actually owned a pair of anything tie-dye. No pants, no shirts, no socks. You did have me make you some tie-dye speaker covers for your recording studio. Yeah. Now he runs the store while Jill heads out most weekends in her car full of color for various craft fairs. I pretty much work six days a week throughout the busy season, and I will work about 10 or 12 hours a day. <laughs> Hearts, rosebuds, you name it, Jill can do it. She's self-taught and dyes each piece by hand. And I'm using wax. This is a technique called batiking. And the wax is used to create the resist to the fabric where the color won't adhere to the garment. The key to the vibrant colors, a fiber reactive dye that adheres to the garments permanently, keeping them vibrant wash after wash. I like to find things that aren't just cotton. I like to use linen and rayon and um, modal, any natural fiber. And, and these, other fi these other materials create, it makes it feel like a luxury item. Her least favorite part of the process is one that we can all relate to. The laundry part, <laughs> washing everything out and putting everything in the dryer and folding. Who, does, who likes laundry? Despite the 60s vibe you get when you spy tie-dye, Jill says it's never gone out of style. I love when people come into the store or the booth and they're like, wow, tie-dye's back. And I'm thinking, tie-dye never left. It's always been here. It just, be, it's, it, it's, it, it comes into common culture now and again. So tie-dye isn't new, but the Edge has certainly figured out a way to make theirs stand out in a crowd. Who wasn't wearing that ice fishing this winter? I mean, really. <laughs> It's my, my color combinations and my patterns. Yeah, most people always com comment about Your how Jill mixes her colors. Um, I, I, I like browns, I love earthy, earthy tones, and you don't, tend, you don't usually see that in tie-dye. Tie-dye trends in colors and styles, but one steady seller, kids' clothes. This is a dress that I've been selling for 27 years, and 
the most popular kids item by far. Bill and Jill have only had roots in the Granite State for a few years, but they say this is home. We came from New York about five years ago. Haven't really, we feel like we've been here for 25 years. We have many friends. It smells good up here. And the edge is part of the fabric up here. After all, you can never have enough tie-dye. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to meet people. It's a lot of fun to be included in people's um, vacation plans. They, they, they think we're like, you know, old, crazy hippies, uh, you know. Well, the old and crazy part.